where you are. I mean, actually, for, for, for people working in, uh, for example, hospital trusts and foundation trusts, for people working in general practice and community services, actually, this should be more empowering than simply changing. It is a big change for people who work in the management systems of the National Health Service. Of course it is. There's, a much, there's going to be a much more autonomous national commissioning organisation. There will be changes in the way in which uh, people at strategic health authorities and primary care trusts work. There will be a transfer into local authorities. There will be a transfer into the new commissioning consortium. So for management uh, inside the NHS, and there's 36,000 managers and senior managers, there's another 200,000 people working in in, in administration in the National Health Service, it's a big change for them. For clinicians, it's more empowering than changing. Are you ever slightly scared of what you've taken on? I mean, there was a suggestion that Downing Street, you know, left you to it, and then they were, you, you know, when they actually sat down and looked at the changes you were proposing, if it was a little bit shot, saying, hey, I didn't think Andrew would go that far. You're, you're still, Martin, you're just somebody, somebody who has spent a lifetime in the media, you have a tendency to believe what you read and see in the media. <laughs> You shouldn't believe it all. Um, look, the reason, the reason why David Cameron uh, was um, clear about didn't have to interfere with the, for example, with the white paper, well, I mean, you know, it was all collective discussion. The point is, we have spent years making this clear. I mean, give you one example. Um, I've been describing today how at the heart of this is the concept we must move from targets and processes to outcomes. Do you know when that was first, that, that principle driving our reforms was first enunciated in January 2006 by David Cameron in Bristol? You know, he set it out. So it should, people shouldn't be surprised that he's not constantly kind of trying to interfere with a, a process of modernisation of the National Health Service, a process of public sector reform that he set out very clearly before the election. Right, so you're working to the mandate. Yeah.